second page. In this example, we're told the sunset time, or time of day that the sun sets, varies sinusoidally with time. The longest day of the year occurs around day 172, which is June 21st, and the shortest day around day 355, or December 21st. The data we're given here is for the town of Perry Sound, and on June 21st, the sun sets at about 21.18 hours. Now, that's not 21 hours and 18 minutes. It's been that uh, hour has been changed into a decimal hour. And on December 21st, it sets around 16.68 hours. And we're going to sketch the data, uh, gather this information, write an equation, then uh, answer this question. So, first of all, on day 172, so day 172 would be about right here and 21.18 hours, so there's that dot. For December 21st, day 355, so this would be 300, 310, 20, 30, 40, that's day 350, so in the middle between day 350 and 360, we put a dot at 16.68 hours, so 16.68 hours. Now, one other point I'm going to plot is this point at uh, the beginning of this cycle, so 10 days before this year, so at day 355 the previous year. So you can think of day 355 for any year as day like minus 10 for the previous year. It's 10 days before the beginning of the previous year. And if we join those with a smooth curve, we can see it's certainly a periodic sinusoidal function. Now, the amplitude, remember, is half the vertical distance between a trough and a peak. So if we find the difference between where the peak is at 21.18 hours and the uh, trough at 16.68 hours, take half of that, so we subtract it and take half of it, we get 2.25 is the length of the amplitude. And to determine the period, uh, this is the cycle is an entire year, so the period should be 365 days. For the phase shift, that depends on whether you use a sine or cos model. And I'm going to use a cosine model because here's certainly a peak. If I want to use a sine model, I have to identify exactly where that middle point is. So the peak is a very convenient to use a, a cos model. So I'll think of my cosine curve as starting here. There's half a cycle, and of course then there's another half over here off the page. So the reason that's so convenient because I know that this is that day 172. So that horizontal translation to there to start my cosine graph must be 172 days to the right. For the vertical translation, I want to know where that middle axis is. Okay? So to find where the middle, I would average the 16.68 trough here and the 21.18 uh, peak time here, and that will give me where the middle is. So averaging those, add those two and divide by two, that will give you the middle, which is 18.9 up. So there's the axis right through the middle of the graph. So it's almost 19 hours up. To write an equation, and I'm only going to write the cos one for this example, the equation looks like this. So H represents the hour of the day, the sun sets, and D is the day of the year. Remember the amplitude is 2.25, so it's 2.25 times the cos. 360 over the period, there are 365 days was the period. The phase shift is 172 days to the right, so D minus 172. Remember, it's the opposite sign. Going to the right, it's a minus. The vertical translation is 18.9 up, so plus 18.9. Now, we have one question to answer here, and we're going to do it using the graph and also using the equation. So, April 30th, if we start in January, there's 31 days in January, plus 28 in February, plus 31 days in March, and then 30 days in April. That's day 120. So that's day 100, so 120 would be right here. So if we trace up to the curve, and then over to the right, we can see that the sunset time should be pretty close to the 20th hour of the day, or just around 8 o'clock in the evening. Now, this is what the calculation would look like in the graphing calculator. Okay, so that's what I'm going to plug in the graphing calculator. I'm going to pause the PowerPoint for just a moment to do that. So, the calculation is 2.25 cos 360 over 365, and then we're putting 120, 
in place of the day of the year, minus 172 plus 18.9. Whoops. 18.9. And again, 20.3. So it's pretty close to the uh, 20th hour. So we'll get back to the uh, end of the page here. That was the calculation I just put in the calculator. And it is about 20.3 hours. There's a 20.3 hours of the day, so just after 8 p.m. is when the sun sets. And that's the end of the lesson.